<coughs> Hello, dear friends. I lost my voice. Nothing else. It's just uh, it's time to to get sick and. Uh, and it's been a long time. I was too healthy, so it's not healthy. My uh, my theory, my philosophy is that, is that you need to get a channel. You need to get rid of the problem of yourself. So it's good to have some small uh, disease, small sickness, small problem. That if you do not have it, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to be too healthy. So, <clears throat> so I didn't make any talking blah 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 video. Not because I lost my voice. It's because I lost my inspiration. Just feel uh, lost the desire of making video. And uh, this weekend and including last weekend, I went uh, downtown our our little town and uh, different places. It's just uh, so beautiful, so fun, and we went to watch. Uh, um, we went to see a, a football game, a soccer game, <coughs> earthquake soccer game. It's so fun to be family, to be with family, to to just have some real life instead of only online life, instead of only staying at home. I'm very happy and, uh, and I did not make video and uh, I decide to be selfish. And uh, not be decide to be selfish, I decide, I decide to consume the moment I have instead of sharing this moment. By sharing this moment, by sharing that particular moment, I lost myself. Because all what I wanted to do is to share it, not even consume it and enjoy it. So recently when I go to restaurant, I do not take picture of the food, I do not do video. That moment is sacred for me. That feeling, that moment, is something very private to me. And uh, at that moment, I did not want to share. I want to, I want to savor, I want to consume, I want to sense that particular moment to the fullest, instead of shallowing, looking through the lens. I want to see with my own eyes. I want to use my eyes to see what is in front of me, not through the lens. Do I make sense? So, <clears throat> anyway, there are moments we want to share. There are moments we want to keep, we want to cherish to ourselves. And uh, by doing this particular video, I think uh, we are actually, I actually sharing more of my thoughts, sharing more of myself than just making a video. Just uh, making a video of those pretty street those pretty places and fun places. Do I make sense? Put down the unimportant things. And uh, <coughs> uh, Friday when I was driving, I listened to the radio and there was one guy, uh, one radio uh, anchor, radio, per, radio host said, the good thing about weekend is that you are actually close to the things that matters. You are closer to the things that matters to you. You are closer to the things that matter to you. And this is so important. And suddenly I feel something that is very empowering. 
and I had some other moments that really those aha moments. One of our school training, teacher training, we had uh, um, the awareness training. So 30 seconds, we stop everything, listen to a music and think. Sorry. <clears throat> by stopping, by hearing your heart, by losing yourself, in your own self-awareness, I suddenly feel that uh, I am centering myself, I'm grounding myself. We need those moments that away from the busy life. And another thing is about uh, the coffee shop. Um, <clears throat> one thing I do not understand is that people go to a coffee shop and buy coffee and take away. I cannot understand it. I really cannot understand it. Why do you need that cup of coffee? You do not need it. This cup of coffee, this cup of drink, especially coffee, if you buy a a, a Frito drink, something. It's a different matter because those because you want to, you want to spoil yourself. You want to damage yourself. And from time to time, from time to time, we deserve to do something bad, and that is the moment. And uh, <clears throat> and buying a cup of coffee, very well made, and the barista took his, her time to froth the milk and put into your cup, drip into your cup, drip by drip, make those beautiful designs. It is for you to sit down, to stop, and give yourself some time to think, to reflex, to just stop and give some moments to yourself a cup of coffee two dollar three dollar four dollar if you buy a cup of coffee cappuccino whatever if you buy a cup of coffee and you take the cup and go away the, those espresso drink you are wasting a lot a lot you are wasting your time because that time is dedicated to slow down, to stop and think. You are wasting money because the when you run and uh, and in a rush, nothing has flavor. You are wasting the baristas very careful and uh, dedicate job and you are wasting the real estate you are paying you go to coffee shop the coffee and you sit there you are paying for you you are consuming your real estate money this is included in the money and uh, you just give them back it's so wasting anyway <clears throat> stop and give yourself some time to think and uh, finding your own self. I lost in my train of thoughts. And um, <clears throat> so it is important, yes, coming back to the training. And uh, <clears throat> another thing, the our train leader, leader of the trainer, asked us to say something. Give yourself from number one to number ten. One means the least and ten means the most. How do you value your day for today? Are you in number one, number two, number three, or number ten? Then non-judgmental. Everybody say how you think, how you judge your number, how you 
how you uh, number yourself and uh, a very brief reasoning. And uh, we share this. It's very empowering to see people, to see other people suffering, or to see other people having hard time, or to see other people having a good time and uh, overcoming their hardship. It's very, very empow empowering. You have this empathy, and uh, and you can you just uh, put yourself in other people's shoes and let other people wearing your shoes have this exchange, this this heart to heart exchange. It's. Uh, it's empowering and encouraging and you learn so much from people. You learn that some people are having a hard time so you can be more understanding to other people and you can you can empathy you can reflect reflect yourself on that. And you will see other people in good, high spirit. They have the same day as what I had. They had the same day. They can cheer up. They have the strength. Why I do not have that strength? I should learn from this positive attitude. So, just very empowering, all these things. And... Um, I check Yahoo News. Yahoo News. There was something new today. I bought. I bought these baby lips, and uh, it's only. It's very very inexpensive, and every time I saw it, I have never thought about buying it, because uh, baby lips. It's for babies. It's not for me. And then today I bought it. I find it is quite. Uh, quite interesting. I choose this color. So let's see myself without it. We are not rich, but we sure can afford two, three dollars to make us happy by buying a small tiny lipstick. This we can afford and this is a good investment. Three dollars, you get so much happiness, and so was it, the lipstick economy. So without it, it's so plain, and so just feel. I do not feel different, but when I see the mirror, through the mirror. I feel myself so old, so sad, so plain, so no spirit. And just by putting a little bit of this, you add up the color and you add up so much. Add up a layer of good spirit. And this does not need this does not need, uh, does not require a mirror to do it because it's so light. I think it becomes a little bit darker with time with a couple of minutes of time. This is not uh, <clears throat> very bright. This is not for going out to 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 the Grand Soiree, but uh, for daily use it's quite convenient and it smells mold. It smells very fresh. Sorry. <coughs> Give yourself some time, give yourself some teeny tiny little treat. And another thing, I feel so accomplished. 
I feel I accomplished a big thing, a sense of achievement, a sense of accomplishment, is that I finished a lipstick. I feel so happy. Now I buy only the right color. Whatever price, I buy only the right color so that I can use it, and I use it a lot. So I finish each one. Do not buy the things that is not useful. You are wasting. You are not only wasting your money. I do not mind if you waste your money because you may have money or not. It's not important. It's your own business. But if you are wasting the resources, the resources, the resource is from our planet Earth. It's ours. You do not have the right to waste that. So buy the right thing, use it up, don't buy a lot of things. Don't say that you are supporting the economy and by buying those things. In the long run, we are consuming too much. We are consuming too much useless things. We are not consuming enough our time, our thoughts, our heart. Put our heart to our heart. Life is much more meaningful by being more sensible, more self-aware. We want to be a better person. We want to live a better life. And this better life is not money, is not is not things that out outside of our own self. Yes, another thing I want to share with you. When I was young, I was one of the one of the person that uh, always liked to play with the, the bad guys. And uh, I always jealous or hate, or just I, I'm not with the good guys. I'm not, I am not part of the, the, the good team, always part of the, the rebellion team. So in Chinese there is a saying, uh, So after two years being homeless, even give you the job of king, give you the title of king, you will not like it. So I like people. The other day I was seeing people, homeless people, and uh, suddenly I was, this may not be right, but I suddenly feel, I suddenly so want to be free. And uh, I went to a coffee shop. There was one guy sitting in front of the coffee shop and said, can you spare some change? I didn't have, and uh, this guy is so, it just, he said, okay, on your way back. I said, okay, on, on my way, way out, on my way back, on your way out. So <clears throat> then I went to the coffee shop. He was sitting there, uh, he was sitting outside. And uh, so I went inside, had my coffee inside. And then I saw people wearing dress, wearing so serious suits. And I was feeling something wrong, something not happy. Be free is so happy. And sitting there, play with your computer and talking about business, isn't it boring? Or isn't it suffocating? Then I went out. Then I finished my coffee and came out. And um, I had some change and I talked to that that person, to that guy, I said, how is your day today? He said one thing that touched my heart so profoundly. He said, 
Every day is a great day when I wake up. Every day is a great day when I wake up. It's just the stuff happen during the day that uh, that not so great. That positive that message from it is so empowering. It's so it touches my heart. Touches my heart. Throw away everything. Start your day with a smile, with 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 the sense of a great day. Anyway, I will not spend too much of our time and I will go back to savor my own time to do some painting, drawing or other things. And uh, I bought a book. I went to the local bookstore and I was thinking every day we read books from online books. How about those, these bookstores? I love those bookstores. It will be sad that bookstores disappear. And the way to support them is to buy some book. It does not cost much, but little by little, a $5 book, a $10 book, a a small contribution, a small contribution. It's a really win-win situation. You hold a book, paper book. It's a, a great feeling. And you are supporting. I wish you a very happy evening. Get ready for your week. This is Sunday evening. It's just another day. Don't worry. Monday is just another day. Without Monday, you will not come to Tuesday. Neither Wednesday, neither Thursday, neither Friday. Nor Saturday and Sunday. Monday is the starting point. Without Monday, there will be nothing. We start from Monday. How beautiful. This is our starting. Appreciate it. Treat it with respect. Happy Sunday evening and a happier Monday morning. When you wake up tomorrow morning, it will be a great day. Bye, friends.